better step in our fancy clothes tonight. <laughs> Final regular season edition of Four Court Press for the season. How about that? Best stuff, of course, ramps up next week. The postseason. That's coming. right. The girls tournament is actually already underway. Not many games played tonight. We're going to ramp up on that coverage on next week's show. But some OCC titles up for grabs tonight. A perfect regular season also on the line. The head coaches from both the schools, Reedy and Hartley, chatting it up in front of a sold out crowd. Reedy going for the perfect season. Josh Paul attacks the lane. No one picks him up. Hawks, they answer back. Jaden Calloway spins out of trouble. Fade away. Home crowd loving that. Reedy's big fella going to work down low. Uthman Sharif, new sheriff, if you will, in town. Back and forth early on. Ja'Kai Calloway, younger Calloway, gets moves. But the Silver Knights, they're just too much. Luke Ruth scores there. Reedy undefeated, 22-0. They win at 68-44. All right, OCC Ohio title at stake. Escahanna and Pick North Tangle. Arness Lawson is a cheap cheat code. Step back three is money. What a game this was. Nas Turner from the top of the key beats his man. My goodness, Whoa. up and under. Unreal. Panthers led by four after three. They add to it. Jaden Vital spins off the defender basket and one. Panthers lead by seven with seven to go, but the Lions kept fighting, and it's a tie game. 15 seconds, Lawson drives, stripped by K.J. Reynolds, takes off the other way. What a pass for the winning layup. Gehanna wins a thriller 53-51 to claim that OCC Ohio outright. Wow, with a second left, huh? For the battle of 256, pick Central Reynoldsburg. Third quarter, Tigers up big, but Raiders trying to mount a comeback. Three-point shooting, Noah Smith hits three of his 18, and then Jordan Fisher going to pull up. And hit from long range. He had 12 in the game. Pick Central, however, they've got Devin Royal, and you know that'll work. Trail in the play, that'll do. Fourth quarter, he takes it himself. 23 points for the future Buckeye. Pick Central looking playoff ready. They roll 75-56. Olin Tangi Orange hoping to hand Liberty its only division loss this season. Students were fired up, as were the players. Orange takes a quick nine-zip lead, kept rolling in the first half. Jordan Edwards makes it an 11-point Orange lead. Pioneers did not slow down. Edwards, great pass to Devin Brown in transition. 28-15 Orange at the half. But don't count out the Patriots. J.R. Hocutt. Pulls up and hits. Liberty got as close as three in the fourth quarter, but Orange hangs on and wins 56-50. So it does hand its rival its only division loss this season. Over at Berlin, uh, let's go through the belly of the beast. Woo! The Bears hosting uh, Thomas Worthington, an OCC Cardinal showdown. Big night for Thomas Worthington's Joey Zaleski. Really good football player, too. Scores the Cardinals' first bucket of the night, and he also drops his 1,000th and 1,000 first career points. On the other end, Derek Goodman cuts the Cardinals' lead to four with the pull-up, but Zaleski and the Cardinals have a big night. They win this one easily, 87 to 51. Westerville North trying to close out an OCC Capital title tonight as they visit Dublin Sciota. Here's the opening eight seconds of the game. Ty Parkins casually strolls up court, pulls up for three. Other end, Caden Haywood drives, draws the three-point play, wild play, and a wild hat. Look at that. Is that a hat? Yes. Okay. It's more of a bonnet. I mean, it does win the style points, I guess, <laughs> if you count those for style points. Carter Reese for three <laughs> and one. Yes, four-point play. Warriors win a league title 58-47, and they're now 20 and two. I'd wear that hat. Coaches are never happy, right? Ed Kalo. Ron Lewis matching wits tonight. Westerville South at Kilborg. Great passing from the Cats all night. Jalen Wheeler back door to Amari Hodges. The back door looks continue. Jawan Ray to Tyler Kilmeyer. Now Tamar Lewis from Kilborn playing for his pops and he pops out for three. But South just keeps sharing the ball and scoring. Well coached team and they executed. And they get it done 69 to 45. Final stop. Hey, he's on the road at Franklin Heights. Jesse Burris throwing it down. Our guy Zach Fleer was on scene for this game, and he saw Burris and the Pacers put on a show. Check out the shot fake in the big boy finish. Falcons got a spark from Abdul Fosana. The steal takes it all the way for two. Ooh. Later, takes his defender one on one for the bucket and one. But Burris just all over the floor in this one. Pacers win a big one on the road, 52-33. All right, it is story time. Our guy Zach Fleer from 270hoops.com rejoins us as he does every week. We've got a lot to talk about. That's right. As we said, boys tournament tips off now. Next week, even in the first round, we have some excellent matchups. We don't always see that. Yeah, yeah. In the sectional semifinal round, it's kind of hit or miss. Uh, but this year, <laughs> got a couple games I keep my eye on. Uh, this, the first round, you typically get some OCC versus City League matchups. Right. That's what we have this week with three of them. We got Worthington, Kilbourne. They're going to go on the road. We just saw their highlights taken on South. Uh, interesting thing here, South. 
they only had two losses heading into the tournament draw, but they got a lower seed. Kilbourne thinks they can compete. Uh, it's going to be a tough environment for that team going on the road against South. The next game, Mifflin Grove City. I'm really excited about this one. Five years ago, Mifflin went on the road this same round, knocked off Grove City. None of the kids playing in this game were alive. Well, they were alive, <laughs> but they weren't playing high school basketball right. then. Um, Mifflin, 16-6, are having a great year. If they can go on the road and upset Grove City, that'd be a big boost for the program. And then the third game, Northland's been the talk of the city. Yeah. A player they have has been the talk of the city, but Reynoldsburg, they're looking for revenge. They jumped right on Northland because uh, Reynoldsburg's a 20 seed, Northland's a 19 seed. When Northland took that spot, Reynoldsburg jumped right on them. So we'll see what Reynoldsburg has to deal with with Northland rolling and a player they got they, on that team that's really incredible. That's a good transition. Speaking of, because I mean, this Northland team's coming off its first city league title in six yeah. years after defeating the defending champs from Afrocentric. And the Vikings were led there by a freshman point guard, King <laughs> Kendrick. He Amazing. dropped 33 <laughs> points and that win is different. Our reporter Justin Holbrock has more on the new king. For the first time since 2016, the Northland Vikings are kings of the city league. I put work in the whole week, the whole season for this game. I know I put in the work to be where I'm at right now, so I know I can do anything I put my mind to. On Saturday, that meant dropping 33 points, including the game-winning free throws with three seconds left. It's really about winning the game. It's not about how much points I have, how many assists I have, how many rebounds I have. I don't really care about the stats part. I just care about winning the game. I've, I've seen a lot of city championships, and I've seen a lot of players come through. And, you know, Jared Selinger had a good city championship this freshman year, but I don't think anybody else compares with that. The Vikings won nine city league championships in 10 seasons from 2007 to 2016 with players like Jared Selinger, Seth Towns, and Trey Burke. Full circle moment, Trey Burke's dad is the one who told me about King. And um, I ended up seeing him in a uh, middle school game, and immediately you could see that he had a feel for the game. You could see it was different. Pretty soon, Trey and King formed a bond and trained together this past summer. It's like amazing because the things he did in college, high school, what he's doing in the NBA, it's just like I can really, I can talk to him about, I could go talk to him and ask him about questions and any, all that. So it's, it's, it feels good to know Trey Bird, yes. From Trey to King, we're seeing a torch being passed at Northland High School. Everybody that was here before was proud of, proud of us winning the city, so it's like, it's just amazing that we won. And everybody doubted us to not win that city championship. So even though, so when we won, it was just like, wow, we really did it. Local and going on for the, uh, this week's four court press, 270 Hoops Players of the Week, it's a Hilliard sweep. On the boys' side, we have uh, Peyton Fry from Hilliard Davidson. He had a monster week with 76 points and 27 rebounds and two wins for the Cats. And on the ladies' side, Leah Dennison from Hilliard Bradley. Shout out to my guy, Andrew Witt, the new head coach there, Bradley. She had 42 points, six assists, 17 rebounds, and four steals and two big wins over Bishop Watterson and Olentangy Orange. Shout out to Leah Dennison, first team all OCC as well. And those are our four-court press, two Sunny Hoops players of the week.